Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for every one of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy regarding this person's true feelings for you currently, we have tough beginning, attraction. We also have the 10 of pentacles and we have the lover's card here. All right, so when it comes to this person's true feelings for you, there's something about you not making it easy for this person that makes them more attracted to you. They feel as though you're playing hard to get, okay? Doesn't make it true. That's just how this person feels. Now, for some of you, I feel as though this person, they do think that you're attracted to another lover or they think that someone else is attracted to you, but it also makes them want you more, okay? They do feel as though um, the two of you will end up being together, being in a long-term relationship, a long-term commitment, but they know that it's not gonna be easy, but at the same time, they're willing to fight for the love that the two of you have, okay? Or fight for a commitment. So yeah, they actually do feel as though you've gotten into another relationship. Some of you have, others of you may have not, okay? But regardless, like I said before, you not making it easy for this person or you really standing your ground with them, it's making them want you more, okay? Now for some of you, this person feels as though you don't believe that they're doing all that they can to put in effort or to make things work between the two of you. For others of you, if you have been distancing yourself from this person or if you haven't been putting in effort, they feel as though you want the relationship to work, but you're pretending as though you don't. Okay, so take that however it fits. But yeah, when it comes to this person... Someone feels as though they've lost an opportunity with you or that they're going to lose an opportunity. This person feels as though you've lost passion for them because at one point in time, you were very attracted to this person, very passionate, but they feel as though you've lost that attraction and it's mainly because you've been holding back from them or at least they feel as though you have. This person, they see you as someone that's standing in your power, okay? For some of you, they think that you're holding back when it comes to spending time with them, coming together, okay? They are wanting to move things forward in order to have a new beginning. They want you to think or they want to prove to you that they can take you seriously or that they can... Um, they want to prove to you that they're serious about having a new beginning or that they are able to change, Okay, but at the same time, they feel like you're closed off to them. For some of you, they feel as though you would reject whatever it is that they're offering. They feel as though you're closed off to them. For some of you, they feel as though someone else has your attention. But I feel as though when you were taking this person seriously, I feel like they weren't reciprocating your energy. They may have made you feel ignored. They may have made you feel unwanted, okay? So they feel as though you've changed because at some point, like I said, there was a lot of passion here. I feel as though you were letting this person know that you wanted to be with them. And some of you aren't putting in as much effort as you used to. Others of you aren't putting in any effort at all. So, like I said, they feel as though they they feel as though you've changed. For some of you, they want to talk to you, tell you how much that they love you. Also, I feel as though this person um they want to apologize to some they want to apologize for some things that have happened in the past. Now, for a few of you, they think that you owe them an apology, okay? Take it however it fits, but someone knows that um that they've done some wrong in the past. They feel as though you look at the connection as more bad times than good. But like I said, you holding back from this person, especially if you're holding back from them sexually, it makes them want you more. Hmm. 
They also love when you stand in your power. Even if they don't act like it, they do. Because I feel like this is someone that's used to walking over people, okay? They're used to dealing with people that allow them to um, just walk all over them. And so for those of you that have really been bold, standing in your power, they love that about you. Hmm. I feel as though for some of you, even if this person were to express emotion, um, they're not telling you how deeply their feelings really run for you. Hmm. They're trying to remain optimistic that there will be growth between the two of you, but we have the king and the queen of cups here. But if you can, if you notice, they're both looking in opposite directions. So I feel as though at one point, the two of you were on the same page. You both knew that you wanted to be together. You both felt as though the two of you could grow and live a happy life. But there's something that, there's something that's come between the two of you that may have affected how the two of you viewed each other. You're just not on the same page. There may also have been some things that were illuminated in the relationship, maybe in regards to their parties or a lifestyle that this person was living, but it's really a turnoff for you. And I feel as though you guys have been protecting your heart. But you have a decision that you're going to have to make in regards to whether you want to recover things with this person, whether you want to heal and give to this connection again, or if you want to surrender this connection and just let things be what they are. It's really hard for this person to walk away from you because they're always in their head. Okay. They think about you a lot. I just feel as though you and this person are very much aware that you deserve more because someone here um, takes advantage of the other, whether it's money, emotion, effort. Someone doesn't do as much work as the other. For some of you, I feel as though you may have always been the one that was trying to heal things, trying to make things work with this person. And they weren't putting in as much effort or when they felt as though they had you where they wanted you, that's when the effort would cease or um, they would stop putting in as much effort. For some of you, it's like the more attention you pay to this person or the more attention you give them, that's when they start to make you feel ignored or make you feel unwanted. Hmm, I hope that makes sense. Wow, but yeah, this is someone that definitely wants to be with you. I also feel as though um, this person, they feel like you're attracting different people, like you're attracting other lovers. They, they, they just see you overall as very, very attractive. Okay, so let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, in regards to this person. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what else comes out. And also, guys, do keep in mind that I do not do personal readings. So if anyone reaches out to you for a personal, it is not me, okay? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have runners. So this person, they feel as though you are not wanting to accept what they have to offer. They feel as though you are running from them or you're distancing yourself. And it may be in regards to something that this person did that may have put the nail in the coffin for you. Hmm. But there's something that this person has done that made you want to run in the opposite direction or it made you distance yourself. And whatever they did, it may have been childish. But yeah, they feel as though you're getting away. For some of you with this runner card being here, this may be your twin flame. And I feel as though the roles have reversed. At one point in time, um, this person may have been the runner, but the tables have turned and now you're being viewed as the runner. Give me more. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers? Thank you. So we have opening up and that came out in reverse. So they feel as though you are no longer opening up to them or that you closed the door to your heart. Okay. 
Hmm. They feel like you're not ready to let them in or you're not fully letting them in. Also, with choices being here at the bottom of the deck, I feel as though this person does not want you opening up to other options. So they don't want you to um, explore other options or explore other relationships. Give me more. How does this person truly feel about my viewers currently when it comes to love? All right. So we have regrets. So they're regretting some things. And the twin flame card is at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this is your twin flame. For others of you, this is someone that they just view you as their other half, okay? But they are definitely regretting some things. Wow. For some of you, they're regretting some things that they should have done but never did. For others of you, they're regretting things that they did that they shouldn't have done. Give me one more card to end this reading. How does this person truly feel about my viewers? This card came out crossing. Let's see what it is. Commitment came out crossing. So for some of you, this person feels as though you don't view them as someone that you would want to spend the rest of your life with, or you don't view, or that you view them as someone that is not capable of giving a commitment when it comes to relationships. Hmm. But this commitment card coming out crossing, that means there's an issue. Someone has an issue with committing, whether it's committing to one person, okay, or someone just not being consistent, not consistently putting in the work, not being focused on um, the relationship, being distracted by other things or other people. But yeah, at this point in time, this person feels as though you're up in the air like, you they feel as though you may want to be with them but at the same time they feel as though you don't like you no longer care if things work between the two of you or not and others of you they feel as though you're not even trying to make things work okay hmm take it however it fits wow all right so they're telling me to pull one more card so give me one more card please holy spirit what is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love so we have slow down and that card came out crossing as well so this person feels again as though passion has slowed down when it comes to you like you're no longer passionate you're not as fast to take action you're not as quick to react they feel like you're turning cold toward them hmm. So, yeah, someone's definitely in their feelings in regards to you. And they're regretting how they did things. They're regretting how they did things. For some of you, they regret not opening up to you. Because someone here was closed off. I feel as though um, this is the type of person, even if you've been with them for a long time, or if you were to be with them for a long time, you'll always feel as though there's a wall up. Like they have a wall up. And for some of you, they regret doing that. Hmm. So now some of you are closing off your heart so that you don't become hurt. Some of you are running from the connection. Um, and by running, I mean you're distancing yourself or you're closing yourself off. You're not as quickly, you're not as quick to accept whatever this person is offering you like you just have your guard up and that's how you're protecting yourself all right so that is the reading everyone if you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading make sure that you give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you as a part of the mystic family i love each and every one of you guys so so much you take care be safe until next time bye